Okay, so hi guys. Um, I just received my order package. So I ordered three things. One is the Seagate Backup Plus Drive 8 terabyte. Second is the ND filter, and third is a recovery plan for the Seagate Backup Plus 8 terabyte drive. So this is the unboxing. I'm just gonna unbox. Um, now it's half two. I haven't had my lunch yet, but the unboxing is more important. Okay, so this is the first package right here. Um, pull the tab. I'm guessing this is the ND filter. Yeah, let's have a look. Okay, so yeah, it's the ND filter. It's gold. Um, it says here. Plants 5 tree variable ND filter inspired by nature. This is my first ND filter because now it's summer and you know there's no clouds. Okay, design in Australia, assembled in China. Alright, so I'm gonna open the tab. Uh did I open no I think I opened it wrongly. Right. I think I opened wrongly, so I need a scissor. Oh, where is my scissor? Okay. This away. Uh, gonna use my scissor and quickly open this. Yeah, in fact, at the time of recording this, I was just about to edit my vlog, but I, I haven't edited my vlog because my package arrived. Okay, so the the case is open now. So let's see what we have inside. There are a few things inside. I'll take this out. Wow, cleaning cloth. So they included a cleaning cloth here. I don't know if you can see that, but look at that. Wow, it's beautiful. Look at that. So I'm just gonna slowly twist this. I'm not sure how to open. Yeah, I'm gonna twist this. It's a very nice packaging in the way how they pack this ND filter. And this is the ND filter itself. Very nice packaging. Look at that variable ND filter amazing so if you are considering buying like um, ND filters or any filters GOP is a very trusted I mean good brand for ND filters and all the filters of your life and I got this about 38 quid I think yeah somewhere around the other I can't remember how much was it already there you go holy shit that it's like a sunglass. Can you see anything? Whoa! It's so clean. There is no dust on this thing. And this is currently turned to the max. But if I can turn... There you go. Look at that. Wow. Hello, do you see me now? Now, now it's going back dark already. And now you can see me. I think this is the the most that they can go. I think this is the minimum. So this is the most that it can open. I don't know if you can see me, but this is how it looks like. If I put the GoPro with an ND filter, and this is without the ND filter. So if I were to take the GoPro out like this, see the difference whoa look at that is there any is there any difference uh, i'm not quite sure i'm not sure but anyways this is a 77 thread and filter which i will put on my camera right now so this is my camera right here i'm i should be recording on this i mean i should be recording this rock on this camera but Anyways, since I'm, I need to do this, so this is seven. This is a Canon twenty-four to seventy f o l lens. It's a very good lens. It has macro mode and all those stuff. And when you want to find, when you want to find what type of filter thread you are using, you take the lens cap and behind the lens cap there is a, a filter thread right there. I don't know if you can see that, I'm trying to get a nice angle. The first thing I want to do is I'm clean my lens. So I'm gonna take out the 
cleaning cloth provided which is a very wow look at the cleaning cloth look at that it's like a tissue paper it's really like a tissue paper no joke inspired by nature very nice go good brand so i'm just gonna wipe all the dust off here in fact wiping your lens like this is not the best way because end up it's gonna sound like sandpaper you got shh like that so the best way to do is to get a rocket blower you know those people use the blower so i'm planning to get that again but uh spend a lot of money but anyways i'm just gonna carefully put this and just screw it on all right there you go it looks so advanced now look at that so let me try turning on the camera and test this out f4 and i'm just gonna try to turn the dial and see what happens there you go whoa this is this is like the maximum it can go you see i'm currently at f4 and yeah this is wow this is the maximum this is the maximum for yeah oh yeah that's just oh, okay that's too dark already but yeah so first one done amazing i'm just gonna slowly put this back i can't put the lens cap on the nd filter so i need to take out the nd filter so now moving on to the big packaging so this is the very big packaging i need a scissor for this this scissor is very good i bought in malaysia the the, the band the brand is called scotch i don't know if you can see that but that's the brand right there scotch okay so this is a seagate 8 terabyte <clears throat> At first, I wanted to buy the Lacy 8TB or 6TB, but that one is too expensive and I thought I just, you know, whatever. I got the plan, the recovery plan, so... Yeah, because I told myself, you know, I said, if I'm going to buy this 8TB drive, might as well get the recovery plan to be on the safe side because 8TB of data, whoa, that's a lot. So... Uh, I decided to get because according to my friend, he reads the article and the article said that Seagate has the highest failure rate of any hard drive company. So firstly, they have airbags, which is amazing because I can keep my stuff with airbags as well. Second is airbag and inside here I can show you. This is the packaging. There you go. Wow, fresh and new. Seagate Rescue 2 Years Data Recovery Service Plan So that should be the recovery service plan inside here Which I believe I can open like this So it's a very simple recovery plan um, Your digital life is irreplaceable Protect it with our rescue plan So 2, two year data recovery plan protects your data in the event of data crash, virus, or uh, anything. More than 30 years of data recovery. See back for more info. Yeah, good. This is very important. <clears throat> now, finally. Wow, this is heavy. There you go. This is the god. Finally. 8 terabyte of storage. This is going to be very, very fun. Wow, look at that. Finally, some new storage now. 8 terabytes of storage. You know, before this 8 terabyte, I'm using a Seagate Backup Plus. Uh, this is Seagate. This one right here is Seagate Backup Plus Hub. But the one I'm using that has 50 gigs of storage left is the Seagate Backup Plus Drive. This is 4 terabyte, and I bought it like last year about one year ago and this drive really amazing drive um, can store lots of stuff but when you shoot 2.7k when you shoot 4k and when you shoot vlogs this is not gonna be enough for this drive i did not purchase the recovery plan um, so i hope everything will be fine but this you know if you're gonna purchase a terabyte of storage it's better you're gonna get this type of stuff 
you know, it's very important. It's like you're buying a two thousand pound MacBook. You better have Apple Care uh, protection. You know, it's gonna be important. <coughs> Anyways, so the package is good. There is no problem. Everything is sealed. There is no dent or anything like that. So this is amazing. This is gonna be simply amazing. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the tab. Why is opening this is always very hard. Just open lah, my goodness. Okay. There you go. Just below this cardboard should be the drive itself. So I'm gonna slide it out if I can. Okay, there you go. Do you see the drive? It's coming out. There you go. <gasps> the God. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, this is so clean. I don't want to break. Wow. Look at that. I'm not gonna drop that. Hopefully. Okay. The real deal, eight terabyte of storage. Look at that. So there's the power cable port and the USB 3.1. I think I don't know. Really nice design. That's the top and the bottom. Yeah, very nice. Just gonna show you. This is how it looks like. Really amazing. Uh, hard drive I'm gonna power up this hard drive and then connect to my Mac and I'm gonna format it in XFAT because XFAT I'm just gonna put why I'm gonna format in XFAT right here ah, I'm very thanks for watching that's all for this video and I'm very hungry now time to eat